Ears of Ristar versus Ears of Sitson. GR number 161720, November 22, 2005. In 1935, Emilio Ristar died in the state with eight children compulsory ears. In 1960, Flores executed with Helen a cancellation of tax declaration in Ristar's name, covering 5,900 18 square meters parcel of land which was among the properties left by Ristar and the issuance of tax declaration in his name. Flores died on 1989. Flores's co-ears discovered the cancellation of Ristar's tax declaration and the issuance in lieu under his name. Ears of Flores sisters filed a complaint to Flores Ears for the partition of lot, declarationality of documents, ownership with damages, and preliminary injunction before the RTC. The respondents alleged that they were the lawful owners as they had inherited it from Flores. The respondent claims, however, that they had been in possession of the lot in the concept of owners for more than 30 years and have been paying reality taxes since time immemorial and have denied sharing the produce of the lot with the petitioners. For the issue, whether ears of Flores are the owners of the parcel of lot, The court ruled yes under Article 494, no co-owner shall be obliged to remain in the co-ownership. Each co-owner may demand at any time the partition of the thing owned in common, insofar as his share is concerned. No prescription shall run in favor of the co-owner or co-ear against his co-owners or co-ears, so long as he expressly or impliedly recognizes the co-ownership while the action to demand partition of a co-owner property does not prescribe, a co-owner may acquire ownership thereof by prescription, where there exists a clear repudiation of the co-ownership, and the co-owners are apprised of the claim of adverse and exclusive ownership. Created using Powtoon.